Hello there, everybody. This is Rampain, and welcome back to my Legion of Nagash campaign. We're going to continue the up from last time. The beginning of the end times, led by uh, Undead this time, instead of the Forces of Chaos. Funnily enough, we're fighting against the Forces of Chaos, technically. Uh, we're right now, we are very close to finishing this campaign off. I, If I don't finish it today, you guys will know when I upload this, because it will say finale on the last episode. Or I'm finishing the next video. One of the two. I don't know. It depends on how, many, how much time it takes for me to take all the cities that I specifically need. Because right now, we just need specifically Altdorf. Uh, Talbheim, we haven't taken just yet. No, we have not. We still need that. Uh, Midnheim, uh, Karon, Kislev, Erengrad, and Prague. Erengrad, Kislev, and Prague are probably going to have to wait until probably next video. And that's why I think it'll be the 50th video will should be the final one. Because right now, we've got Hedergig. Uh, I already destroyed all the random crap around here, so let's keep building up sepulchers and other economic buildings right now. And then basically, what we're going to be trying to do, he'll be grouping back up with us around here. And now, Neferata, let's just have it so we're going to focus on primarily focusing on taking out the rebel city. Well, actually, no, ignore that for sit right now. I actually want to try and push a little bit against Norska with Neferata here. I can have it so that, for the most part, we'll send um, Nagash over to Mindenheim, try and clear out the cities they have that are not, that are, like, around the rebel cities. Because if I can basically take this city, and then they have one more, right, no, that's just a watchtower. Is there another one up here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, if I can take these two settlements, I think for the most part we can kind of then have them stop probably, oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 I need Kedak Kadron. Um, let's keep getting some more units around here. Keep recruiting what you can. Uh, do I have any... Oh, actually, okay, all these units. All of you guys make your way over there to help out defend that city. With, ye with at least these mages, I think we should have a much better chance of defending that settlement. We have to have Kedak Kadron. Um, all of you are just all free upkeep units. Oh, we almost have a bunch of Neferod's handmade bodyguard now, though. Okay, but in the meantime, let's just keep trying to have it so my generic army's up on dead. We'll keep going about trying to conquer more of the random lands. Uh, you push out of here from Temple Off. Don't need to stay around here. Grab those units. Let's go past... Well, actually, oh, there's more of them. Oh, God, I love that I can recruit these guys. It's just a mercenary. It's so wonderful. So, grab all of them. And then, let's say, if uh, you go to Talbheim, you go over there, and then we also have... Yeah, now we can push in here with Arkin. Push into the uh, Blood Keep. Basically, I'll have it so that I try and have you finish off the Blood Elms and take Altdorf. That's going to be your primary goal for you right now. Basically, what I'm intending to do is, for the final finale, for the final battles of this campaign... Nagash is going to hit Erengrad, because Erengrad has like eight fucking armies around it, and we have to have Nagash do that, and that'll be the very last thing we do. Um, I think Neferata will go after Kislev. No, she'll go after Prague. She'll go after Prague, and Arkin will go after Kislev. Basically, that's how I'm going to have it be split up, because those three will kind of go about and do their own business, but then Good. it's just going to be... Nag it's the gash going up against all those armies. I'm gonna have so much fun with that. Just having them all destroy them. Now start moving up my zombies. I hate that you hear the ones on the ram, but just break down the gates and then we can rush on in with my giants and finish off Orion, who has a zombie dragon army bodyguard, which is um totally fair. It it's just like with him, I almost really want to try and play you guys at some point, because it's similar to Nagash. Where, I guess, the Wood Elves is one of my favorite factions in Warhammer Total War in general, anyways. I would love to see what they'd feel like in this mod, even with their derpy-ass fucking dragons. There we go. Gates are down. Okay, let's start running in my giants. Have you kind of finish, uh, focus on these little units in the way. I might try and have it so my Nephrodus Hamian bodyguard rushes on in as well. Maybe have Hero focus down the uh, dragons. How many does he have? Is he like, what, 12 of them? I see 12 dragons. Yeah, I think I kind of want to have you be shot at by some magic because, oh my god, that will not be fun. I know I have plenty of giants, but, like, those dragons could kill quite a few of them, actually. They also have an AoE component. Let's just try and finish off all the other random little units first. One random zombie come on in here. The dragon's going to make their way. Yeah, the dragons are slowly making their way over here. 
Let's try and get you over here. Giants kind of wait off. Go here, here, here. Just kind of wait. Let's try and have my Neferatamian bodyguard get in on over here so they can kind of shoot them. Uh, don't fire just yet. Go right here. And then ideally you can maybe get there before they do. Come on, come on, come on. Why are you taking so long? Oh, that's that's why. Why? Yeah, keep pushing forward. Uh, you might still be able to hit them. Otherwise my bone giant... No, I just didn't have my bone giant trying to hit them now. Nephrod's Hamian Bodyguard, you're a little too close to them now. I don't want to lose my Nephrod's Hamian Bodyguard, so giants, get on in here and start trying to kill the dragons. We might lose some of my guys, we might not. Hopefully we don't. We've got plenty of units, I think. We killed one. Okay, we killed a couple. Orion's now dead. There we go. Uh, Nephrodah, please don't die. Kind of move right there. You should be able to recover a couple of those units, I believe. Oh, shit. Get out of the Nephrodah. Nef sorry, not Nephrodah. Or her man, I mean, his bodyguard. Giants, how many are left? There's, like, what? Just two? Yeah, there's two dragons that are still alive. As soon as they die, the rest of them shouldn't matter all that much. There we go. So now that Orion's out of the picture, I think they do, they do have at least one other faction member that I know for sure up north. I'll probably try and deal with them at a later date, possibly. Although, actually, because I'm sending Nagash over to Middenheim, I might have him continue and just make his way back over to killing off the uh, Wood Elves. Because what I'm probably going to be doing is I have to double check if I have a fleet around here, or I can just get another one, probably. And basically just have it so that Nagash... I need to make sure I give them more units. If I try and attack all that stuff outside of Erengrad without anything new, um, that might be a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe. Um, let's have it so let's just move out of here, leave these zombies behind, and then... Oh, hello! Yes, don't run. Uh, just a generic general. I don't see any units I really need to worry about in that army. And in here, no, I don't either. Okay, let's kill them all, Arkin. Then I can have you keep making your way up north after this. Um, my reinforcements are almost to Arkin. So I think we might wait for him to gather those guys around a little bit. Or, hey, maybe we don't have to worry. We probably can, we'll be fine, because I still need to go back up north. Kill Wolfric, because we now know where he is. Kill Wolfric in that one castle north of here, northwest of here, and then we'll go to Altdorf after that. Because once we, like, I don't know how many family members that they have, and I could almost kill off them, kill the Norskins with just killing the family members. It's probably unlikely, because they have so many fucking generals, and they, they've had to have at least some of them go on to the family tree, at least some. <laughs> so let's start the battle. Uh, the enemy reinforcements should be over here, I believe. Somewhere around here, I believe. So let's have my Nefrod's enemy bodyguard go right there. Start the battle. Yep, they are <laughs> right there. Awesome. Uh, giants, let's have you immediately start rushing up at this force here. Start trying to kill all of them. Just charge them in there, there, and there. And then one of you, for sure, go to the bodyguard. All of you guys kind of try and flank around a little bit. And then my infantry can kind of just chill as they are. Neferata and company just to try and murder as many of their reinforcements as possible before you run out of ammo. Then I'll just pull you away. Are you actually doing damage to them while they're on the map? Looks like... Yeah, focus on these guys yeah, specifically. The Wild Riders. Those are like a decent unit. That's a pretty nice looking unit too. So as soon as you're out of ammo, I'll have you run away from there. My chariots and such try and, try and run down their uh, skirmishers. I can probably just put you on AI commands for this, honestly. Number wise, they've lost about 20% of their forces overall at this point right now. Uh, Nephrod's Hamming Bodyguard, I'm going to have you run away now. For the most part, I think that's about as much damage as we're going to do with you guys. So kind of run away for now. Giants, ah, it's glorious. Already killed about a third of their army. Wonderful. I don't know what it is with the Wood Elves. You guys are actually really good at killing off some of my giants occasionally. Like, you've dealt some damage to this one, this one, and this one. I don't like it. You guys are actually killing some of my giants. So I, if I keep this up for too long, you could actually do way more damage than I'd like to my forces here with Arkin. So hopefully we can finish you guys off sooner rather than later. Because let's see, right now, they've lost about 72% of their forces. I need to make sure they get the Magic 85. My skirmisher, my cab should be making their way on over here. I need to get you guys to break. Where are my chariots? Oh, my chariots are right over there. Why aren't you helping? 
Guys, get over here, help! You'll see my giants. Let's see, 77%. Some of you are just staying around for whatever reason. Get back in there and fight. There we go. So now, that is one more settlement for us from the Wood Elves. I was able to kill both of them, I believe. So now, we'll have to just get some troops to watch over this settlement for us, and then we're going to keep making our way over to try and deal with um, Wolfric and the Norskins. I forgot to check if I got any of my guys back for uh, my giants. I might just wait long enough to get my reinforcements from down south, as they are almost here. So I can probably just wait until they can regroup with Arkin and then keep pushing on forward. Let's execute all of them. And then take... Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, yeah. I did lose one of them. Damn it. That's okay. So we'll be able to just, like, take the Abbey next turn then. Uh, Bloodkeep, I'll wait on that for just a second. I want to see if there's any other cities that I know I can take right now. Uh, you, the Incision Sea King's Glade. I just want to make sure I clump all the random things that need to be destroyed together. You have one turn. I think I can just take this. Nah, no, I'll wait. Wait on that. Right around here. Uh, are there any other random uh, summonables? Nope, there are not, sadly. Okay. Uh, I can't recruit anything for a couple turns, so that's fine there. I think then, basically. Let's go over here. We have some guys. Still trying to get more around here. Uh, do try and repair everything that was just damaged, please. That, that, and that. Um, and then just keep trying to get more men around here. As thankfully we uh, won against that force here. I do need to just bring you over. Start making my way over to Caron. Because I know that's one of the other rebel subjects I need desperately around here. Uh, how are you guys feeling on this area? Ah, yeah, we'll wait. Wait on all of those regions for now. Those are the ones we really care about. You keep moving up this way. I shall and then I think that first. is it for this turn for right now. Yeah, I, well, here at least. Um, don't retrain those. We don't need to. You get more zombies. Because now it's just trying to... Also, at this point, I almost want to just turn off the fog of war. I think I'm going to, like, permanently at this point. Literally, we're just trying to take cities. And I kind of want to be able to have us be able to see the map and what it looks like at a, at a continuous point. Because we're not trying to assassinate anybody anymore. It's literally, we know where we're going. Oh, there is another city here. Um, we know where we're going, we know what we're doing, so I don't think I'm going to really worry too much about that. Next turn you'll be able to go over there, and Frod is already doing her thing. I'm going to let Wolfenberg um, re just rebel. I don't care about it at this point. That city, I forgot to uh, destroy all the random crap, and so I will try and just let it rebel, take it back after that. Oh shit, no, they actually did take Kislev now. Okay, so the Norskins took Kislev, so I'm going to have... Oh man, they might have a lot of dudes right there. You should be able to win that there. Take those other settlements for me. Karakakun as well. Um, I think that was the only other one that had one turn left. This one I'm a little worried that we might not have enough men to actually win it, but they're selling out. We should be fine. Yeah, you go. So there's two more settlements for us. I need to keep sending more men. Oh yeah, Pritchard Stump as well. We took that. They just gave up. Thank you. Because if they're going to give up, that makes it a lot easier for us to just kind of push back in. Um, let's see. Black Claw Lair. Where is it again? Uh, take Settlement. Hearthstone with the Father. I'm probably working on that, honestly. Uh, Wolfenberg, we know about that. I'm trying to have them rebel. Uh, let's send all of these reinforcements over towards Xandri. And then this ship here. Okay, yeah, because you guys just dropped them off. Let's make our way on up towards you. It's going to be about three, four turns until I can get on up here. King's Glade is good. Uh, I need to keep getting some more random dudes around here. Grab these extra men. Um, I'll take these extra guys. Actually, let's take everybody if I can. Yeah, there we go. So let's have it so you'll make your way over here. Um, they have... So I can grab a seven. Seven extra units. You make your way over to this Halls of Anarath. You can go over that way. And then let me actually destroy all the random buildings we don't care about in these cities. There we go. All the buildings are destroyed, and I've actually just went around and built a bunch of crap as well. Um, let's see, so we have this siege over here. Hopefully this will be good, because basically try and send you over this way. Don't actually attack. I just want you to be nearby, just to make sure you can try and reinforce them. As long as I have some mages around here, we should be okay. Keep trying to recruit some more elite units over here to try and send over that way as well. Um, resistance is futile. Yeah, that's where we just conquer all these regions. Again, we don't have the strongest military still, which is surprising with how much crap we have. 
Oh. oh. Yes. All of my Nefrodas handmade and bodyguard have now been recruited. My economy is probably shit. Let's see, if it wasn't for recruitment. Actually, um. <laughs> I think I just bankrupt myself. Um. Yeah, because, um. My army upkeep is now uh, 111,000. Oh, man. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Because I now have so many of you. Just keep sending all of these units over here. I'm going to have to gather all of these units. I have to send them all to Neferata. I want to see her with this full stack army of Neferata handmaiden bodyguard and see what it is like. Because, oh, it is not going to be fun for the people that want to fight me. So, keep sending them all over up this way. I know I've got a lot of them going that way already. i uh, got some extra men around here. Grab them and throw them up into the front lines because, um... I've got a lot of extra dudes. Oh, all of you. Um, Neferat is going to be making their way over up this way. So I'll have you go towards more time. Go over there, Neferata. Um, actually... I could do this right now. Yeah, I can hit them right now. So let's have you push on in here, Neferata. We're gonna have to slowly start making our way. Wow, they have really bad odds for this. I don't particularly see it. If anything, I can use up all my ammo and run away if I really need to. But we've been absolutely destroying them. So basically we'll focus down the mammoths first, then the general's bodyguard. And then I think we should be okay at that point. By that point, they should all be wanting to run away and just flee for Neferata. But if we don't kill, if like if they don't start running away, I can probably just pull back and just take uh, the kills I got with just my uh, handmade bodyguard. Yeah, because let's just move you up immediately, then grab all of you guys. I do hate that you guys are a little beat up, but I can get some reinforcements for you soon. Um, so now, let's have it so immediately we want to focus our attention onto your mammoths. So kind of go there, there, and then let's say, oh, actually, like three of you. Like three of you start trying to shoot over here. Two of you should try and go more off to the side. Try and go off to the side there and over here. Focus the mammoths down first. They don't have any skirmishers, so we never have to worry about that. But specifically, try and hit the mammoths. Also try and focus the mammoths. Because as soon as the mammoths are dead, and then we can just kill the generals, this should not be that bad. We're just going to be trying to figure out who the generals are is going to be the fun part. Infantry, I'm going to have you all just kind of rush on in forward and just start trying to fight things in melee. Nefrata's hand and bodyguard. I'm going to group you guys up as well. Um, Nefrata! You're supposed to be shooting the mammoths! Don't waste your ammo in the infantry. We need to kill those mammoths first. You're actually shooting the mammoths. They haven't died yet. There's a couple dying. Oh, come on. I need you to have enough ammo to actually like finish off their generals, too. Okay, hit those other mammoths right there. I think one unit's dead? Yeah, it looks like one unit of mammoths is dead. Focus on the other ones. And then let's now give you guys AI commands. Go after the ice rolls. Those mammoths are not dead. These ones are. So now we want to target General Spark. Which would be... Which one is it again? I know it's one of these units. The champions. The champions are the ones I want you to focus down. So focus right there. And these Neferatus bodyguard. Those mammoths dead yet? No, they're not dead yet. They still have two units left. All of you try and focus down the trolls specifically. Bringing my infantry too. Oh, they're already running. Ooh, nice. Oh, and you're out of ammo before we killed off those mammoths. Shit. Uh, get out of there, Neferata. We could run at this point uh, because I've been able to kill at least a third of their army. Run away from those units there. Or the game would fucking crash. Okay, let's try this one more time and see if it will properly work this time. If it doesn't, then we'll be avoiding this army. So let's have Neferata immediately just go over here this time. You all be on this side. Again, we're focusing on the mammoths. Let me just see if I can kill them off quickly enough, and then we can focus on the rest of the army. A lot better when you guys don't have fire at will on and you waste your ammunition. So now, we just want to focus our ammo onto the champions. Keep trying to kill those units off specifically. Like, here's one general's bodyguard that's dead. Uh, I don't know if that's the main general. I think that actually is. 
Let's see, Nifra's Hamming Bodyguard. These ones still have some ammo. I'll have you just shoot whoever you want now. Actually, no. shoot into this blob over here. There's a really big concentration of them right around here. You're already focusing on one champion unit specifically. At this point, they've now lost about a similar amount as before, about a fourth of their forces overall. You're now out of ammo, so just kind of keep running away from them. Get out of there. And for us, hey, maybe better to get his way as well. And then now let's start throwing my infantry into melee. Oh, they got into melee with some of my Nefrod's Hamian bodyguard. I don't like that. Yeah, try and get out of there. Try and run, try and run, try and run. Just get out of there. You don't need to fight them now. Now we're going to let my infantry take over control and see what they can do. Same with my hex rates and my crypt cores. Try and focus them down. I'll try and regroup my Nefrod's Hamian bodyguard all together. And honestly, I might just try and run them off the map because they don't really need to be here anymore at this point. Or the game's just gonna crash again. Okay, it doesn't want me to fight this for some damn reason. Okay, so if we're not gonna be able to focus that force down for right now, I, I will have it so that I'll still make my way down this way, as I know they have, um, like, there's some Nephrodus Hamian bodyguard in some of these armies, there's some more Cryptors, like this, uh, this dude right here. These four, I want you to join in up with Nephrodus. So basically, we can just replace some of my random dudes around here. Also, um, where. Yeah, it was this army. This army right here, I can have you go group with Nefrata. I'm going to have you give all of your Cryptors over to her. And then I'll have it so that basically I can just take all of you guys out of this army. And I think with that renewed force, it'd be a bit easier for us to kind of push on in there. And maybe prevent whatever's crashing uh, like in that battle there. All of you guys. Do you have any more? There's more zombies. So yeah, keep making your way over to more of these rebel settlements right there. Um, let's see. You guys are good here. I do need to keep recruiting more men around this area. Nagash now, since I can have a few. Just leave these two behind. And then I'm going to have it so that you will start making your way on over to Mindheim. Go try and claim Mindheim for us. And then at this point, so let's see. we have the secret men built up. Yes, we got it. So let's finish this off. Let me quickly kill these guys off. It should not take us that long. Then, looks like they are sieging over there. I wonder if that's where Wolfric is. I might just ignore them. Although, if they actually take the city, then that would be kind of a pain in the ass. I'm really hoping that the fight that I just had with Nefrata isn't going to bode uh, ill for like Nagash when I try and take Erengrad. Because I can see that almost being a similar thing is going to happen around there. Because I'm going to hope it doesn't. Because I, what I want to do with Nagash for the final battle, I want to fight all of those guys all at once to try and get Erengrad. I want to push that army to the fucking limits to try and see what it takes for them to be pressured to actually care about the fights. Because most of these fights with my giants right now, it's so there easy for me to slaughter everybody that it doesn't matter that much. So we, we're just never pressured. Um, let's see, so here, I'm going to leave you, because we know, I know we have other generals around here. Uh, and then let's see. You might have those units. Yep, Wolfric's in here. Let's go kill Wolfric. There's like, Jesus, there's so many jokes. Yeah, let's move on in here, murder all of you, just to guarantee that Wolfric dies. Then we can have our forces pull back and go take the other cities they have under our contr their control right now. Because all these lands in Bretonia, I can just keep taking with my rebel armies, or my, uh, my zombie armies. They can keep focusing on them for us, while Arkin and everybody else will focus on the important aspects. So let's kind of group you all up, start your battle, and then just kind of go to the side here. Which one use Wolfric? I think he had a unique model last time I played the mod, although it's slightly different. Oh, here he is, he's right here. Open up on him first. Murder the form of son of a bitch. And he's running like a bitch. I kind of missed the model he had when I was playing this mod last time. Although that was before they were split off uh, into their own faction. He's not dying all that well. He's surviving, I see, I see, okay. Giants go finish the ball. I can just imagine that um, Patrick Robinson is having so much fun with the fact that so many generals are dying when I'm fighting the Norskin. So many. Like, they are losing, at, like this army here, I've already killed three. And I believe there's only one other on the uh, reinforcing. Yep, there's only one other. I think did I not get you? Uh, you. Th I think you're just a random dude. You don't actually matter. Yeah, I literally killed at least five generals there. I wasn't able to click this one, but that's the uh, this guy's at least this last one right here. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wolfric is now dead. 
I wonder who their faction leader is actually for this faction right now. If Wolfric is only the heir, I can only imagine who the faction leader is specifically. I kind of want to, now that we've just decided to have Fog of War off for the remaining uh, the last couple videos, almost kind of go around and try and figure out who their faction leader is. Because I'm just kind of curious. I don't think if we killed him uh, that we'd be able to actually uh, kill off their faction. But it would just be interesting to know. Now here, yeah, we got some more zombies. Let's grab all those. Yeah, because I'll have you make your way back around here next turn. You'll keep going. Uh, actually, you can ignore that area. I think I'm just going to have you go straight for Altdorf at this point. The reinforcing army, at least. They are right here. And yeah, we'll be back. Go, have them go group up around Nuln. Yeah, because that'll be a little bit faster to get over towards Altdorf is where we primarily want to send them anyways. Okay. Let's see. So now I think around here, I can now actually recruit some units. So let's grab all of you. Should be okay. Nah, just leave three. At least leave three. We can just reinforce them later. Start grouping, uh, grouping up there with the siege equipment. This area has got four more turns around there. You'll keep pushing on over here. This area can actually recruit some stuff now. So actually, I should hold off on recruitment as I don't know if I'm making money. I don't think I am because of um, the uh, Nephrodus handmaid bodyguard. I really need to make sure that every single one of them is actually moving forward and doing stuff. Because if I don't, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a fucking problem. As uh, I'm going to go so fucking red. So let's, I'm going to go around because I, I have nothing else to do for this turn. Uh, Nagash is making his way over to Midnheim. Neferata is going up back to... She's right down here. She'll be getting some more units soon. And Arkham's done this thing. Let me make sure every single uh, Neferata Hamian bodyguard is moving. Because if they're not, oh my god. Okay, I think I've moved every single one of them. I hope. Because again, I think I'm about to start going fucking bankrupt. Because it's estimating that my next projected uh, total is going to be 3300 which is barely making money, um, or I'm going to start severely hammering cash. I am continuing to expand at this point in time. We have a lot of areas to go conquer. I have a lot of units to use. Can you please not? Oh, they only have like 500 guys. Oh, and I do have a Nephrodus Hamming Bodyguard here at least. Oh yeah, no, this is actually pretty good here, because then I can very easily kill those mammoths with the Nephrodus Hamming Bodyguard. I need to control these myself, though. And as long as they don't rush on in too quickly, we should be okay. It's just the mammoths could do a lot of damage if they can get in. Okay, so for right now, at least, what we can do... I have no uh, way to stop them from getting their troops onto the walls. Actually, I can do this, at least. What we'll do is ladders... Uh, probably gonna go over here. Everybody get off the walls, actually. Let's have you and you up here. So I'm assuming they'll bring their ladders around here. I can adjust. But we'll start throwing up my zombies forward here. Try and run on out. Come on, need Nephrodus Hamming Bodyguard on the map so I can actually give them orders. There we go. Okay, you need to rush over here immediately. Everybody else is not mandatory. Well, the hex rates could be useful. The General's Bodyguard, not so much. I'll send out my zombies up here. Just rush on up, try and get them off of their ram and their uh, siege towers. And then it looks like for the most part they are sending most of their forces just over here. So just have all of you right around here to stop them. And as long as we can get rid of the mammoths, I think the rest of the forces can be pretty easily dealt with. There we go. They only have the ladders now. So you guys should be able to pretty easily just slaughter them all here. Nephrodus, Hammy, and Bodyguard are here. Let's have you open up on the mammoths, please. As soon as they're dead, I can just unload on their infantry. Come on. This is a good test to see how much damage one Nephrodus, Hammy, and Bodyguard can do. So one Nephrodus, Hammy, and Bodyguard seems, seemingly can take out two mammoths. I can actually shoot them. Yeah, she has enough to damage to do at least that. So let's have you run over here. I think I'm gonna have you use the rest of your ammo maybe on... Oh, use it on the champions. Definitely use it on the champions. Try and kill their general off if you can. Oh, you're already over here. Oh, I didn't realize that you guys were... Uh, you should move over. If I was having big guards, stop shooting them. Because the champion has three guys left. Yeah, he's good. They've already lost two-thirds of their army. I'm assuming these guys will start breaking soon. Oh, they've actually done quite a bit of damage up here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's get my Banshees over here. Have them shoot into that area, and I think they'll be dead at that point. I can also send my General's Bodyguard on up here. They are wavering. So I'm expecting them to break any second now. 
Like, as soon as I can get the Banshees to get one shot off, you're probably gonna all run. Yeah, there they go. Okay. So this area's help, and now that I uh, have at least one Nephiroz Hamidian Bodyguard, we should be okay. Because now, well, okay, as long as they have only two Mammoths, I can at least kill the two Mammoths. If they have more than that, uh, it's gonna be a little iffy, but I can at least hold Carrot Kadrin for now. The Norskins are actually sieging me at Seed Core. Interesting. Uh, I will accept you. These and then how are we doing money-wise? Okay, I am not losing that much money. I was expecting to be losing so much more. I'm only losing 2,000 per turn. That's not that bad. I was expecting this to be way goddamn worse. Like losing 50,000 per turn. Yeah, I'm immediately not the richest faction anymore. No shit. Okay. Uh, oh my god, I have another one. Uh, at least you're automatically already moving. Okay, yeah, because send all those units over there. Um, my fleet here is... Eh? Holy shit. <laughs> you won. That is cancerous to my ears. But I killed them all. That's good. So keep pushing through them, and then just uh, make your way back down over here to Zandri. Keep doing that. And I am going to start gathering a fleet around Marienburg as I can get the nicer ships. So I'll start trying to gather those for when I want to drop off um, Nagash up onto the uh, onto uh, Erengrad. So let's see. I, hear Gig, I don't care about Nagash, though. Uh, is it a moment? That is enough movement. Okay. Okay, so we can get rid of you. You're just a generic general. You don't have a lot. Oh, they do have some mammoths. <laughs> Never mind. The forces inside the city are mammoths. So that I will have to care about. But Nephrodus Handmaid Bodyguard can easily deal with them. Because then we'll have Middenheim under my control. That's one of the other cities I know for sure I need. After this, I'll probably have Nagash go over and just go kill off the Wood Elves. Because I just want them out of my hair. I don't really want to deal with them. But I might as well. Um, reinforcements, they'll probably be like over here. Start the battle. Yep, right there. So, just make sure Nephiroz Hamming Bodyguard kind of line up probably uh, right here. I can leave you as you are. And then my giants. Let's go charge. Half of you charge the shield bins, half of you go for the champions. And then that should be it, basically. Because it's just the mammoths I'm worried about. The those other units are, like, inconsequential. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to walk just straight on into Midnheim. And after that, as long as I can have... Oh, I need to really have some troops just kind of stay behind properly. Because I want to be able to move out immediately, but I have, like, no generic garrison troops right now. And this is a city I need to control. I could just leave one of the General's Bodyguard. I don't specifically need them. And I have a lot of generals bodyguard that I'm having uh, make their way on up here to try and uh, reinforce them anyways. Oh, actually, I could. I saw some guys. Let's exterminate the populace, though. And then uh, let me uh, destroy and repair all this crap. Yeah, because at least that can sustain me, the money I can get from destroying stuff. And I thought I saw... Yeah, there's at least one zombie. Okay, perfect. So I can actually have you be the one that stays behind. Then we can grab the rest of my forces here. You are in my way, but I don't have movement right now, anyways, so we'll keep pushing on over here and try and finish off the Wood Elf next turn, I would say. Hopefully Middenheim will be safe on its own. Um, and then Aachen, you can move Ben. Let's bring you on, let's see, uh, I'll grab those guys in a second probably. Let's keep pushing on this way. I think for right now we can kind of ignore this area as it doesn't have that much. I will actually just immediately go straight to Altdorf. You can go on over there. Let's see, this army, you're still making your way up here. Keep going over to that. You guys can very easily now push on in and take Aquitaine. That's what it's for you to do. Destroy that populace there. And then, again, I need to keep uh, building up and destroying. These areas are not actually doing that bad. They don't have all that much to destroy. Um, right here, though, let's have you leave one unit behind. And, oh, is that happy if I lower the taxes? Yeah, they're good. Okay, they're good. Because keep pushing on forward. I just want to keep taking more of this land as I can. Here. Because if I can't get uh, to Caron from over here, I'll just make my way on up from the south, I'd say. That will work just as fine, honestly. I just need to make sure nobody else takes it. Which, at the moment at least, it looks like the Vampire Coast has focused their attention right around here. I don't see any of their forces around up here. The mm, Chaos Code. Chaos could become an issue around there. 
Um, Seepgore... Are you guys gonna be able to hold that? Oh, they got some fucking mammoths in there. Mmm. And this is random ass chaos army here, of course. As long as they don't take Silver Pinnacle or Karakadron, we should be okay. Because right here, I think that's actually going to be what we'll focus on having in this army is just all of this. So just keep those guys are trained. Um, I do need to make sure that Silver Pinnacle actually has a good force to defend themselves with. That's uh, so another three turns, and now I get another Neferatus Hamian Bodyguard around there. Speaking of which, let's go back over to her. Which, so, I want to take out all of these units. These units I don't care about. I didn't know there was a fort there, but okay. What I intended to do, though, was actually take all of these units out of here. So then it's just... two. So then, let's give you... Take these units. Oh, not that one. Um, I will have it so that you'll... No, this one. You merge with that guy, and then there was this unit here. Make your way over. Let's just get go like right here. Oh, damn it! Because at this point now, neferata has got so many. Oh, I love it. Uh, is there anything else I want to take though? Because I can just make sure she has just Nefrod's hitting bodyguard now. Because you're going to go over here, you're going to siege that, you'll be good. Um, this unit, I'm going to have all of you move out of here. Um, I don't like how many Norskin armies are back around here. There's a lot of them. Because we need to for sure take Talbheim. I think this force, I'm going to leave you as you are. Uh, merge those men together. Let's group these up. Let's make them go up here. Need to make sure we're using whatever units we have. These areas we have to for sure control. And then I think... That's good. You actually do keep going towards Travelheim. You're going over there. I'm going to have you group up with these units. You'll kind of go help him out. Neferata, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just let her... I'm going to at least give it some random fodder for now. Um, I do want you to try and push on in here, take that city. And you're going to start just kind of pushing north into the Kislev regions for sure. Because at the moment now... We've now taken Mindheim, Talheim we're still making our way towards, Altdorf we're moving towards with Arken at the moment. He'll be able to take that. We still need Karon, which basically I'm trying to have, I think at the moment I can move these forces out to kind of try and go do that. Like just get some more random there. Let's leave behind like one of you, start pushing on up this way. Is the head city happy? Uh, just lower the taxes and they're good. Because we're going to be pushing into the Wood Elves with Nagash next turn anyways. So we can kind of not worry too much about them being reinforced. Um, and then the reinforcements. You're making your way on up here. Yeah, keep making your way up towards kind of Altdorf slash Nuln. Keep going that way. Basically what I'll probably be doing is this army definitely needs some more giants. I'll probably take two of those giants, give over into uh, Arkan's army. The other ones will go over into Nagash's army. Or do I actually want to, like, I'm probably going to throw the Karanis in there, too. A lot of these generals' bodyguard will be going into Nagash's army as well. I hate that they keep attacking the armies I'm trying to use to take more cities. Please stop that. Oh, okay, now I'm losing a lot. Oh, that's construction, primarily. Uh, Wolfenberg, they did take that, so that's understandable. Wolfenberg, and let's see, what else? Um, yep, they exterminated the populace. What else do we got? Most advanced faction, once again. You still have no shit. We're just going to be like that for quite a bit as I slowly get to the point where... I can actually build again. Um, let's see. I'm going to bring you back over. Okay, you guys go back over here. Keep sieging that. And then I'll bring this general over to lead your army. You might do a little bit better with that. Also, this other, other unit there, so you don't have crap. Then back here as well. It's another force that, like, I can't really stop them. We'll try and siege it once more. If they attack us, we'll actually try and fight that this time. Um, let's see. You've got two more turns over there. That's fine. Keeping your way over here. Keep going there. Um, there is a lot of Norskins up here. I don't like that. So you're just a general I don't care about. Make your way over to Altdorf. Let's try and take that. I might, for a second, honestly, use this army to try and kill some of these units here. Like, make your way in up here. Oh, that's the army that I was going to be trying to fight with uh, Neferata. Ooh, yeah, please don't go for Nome. Please don't. 
Okay, because now right here, you guys have been pushed back. Um, oh, hello! No mercy for the That's enemy. I wonder, do they have, uh, do I have a Spy Ranger still? Yes, I do. Go over here. Um, that's the faction. Okay, so if I just take that one city, it's not going to kill them all right now. But in the I gash, let's go push on first. into these wood elves and that finish them off. Wait, Ryan? He's back? Wait, what? Uh, I guess this is just a, uh, copycat. Uh, that's, uh, let's see, that's that army there. I don't see any ants. I don't see any tree men. I don't see any dragons. I think this is just a slaughter. Yep, it's a slaughter. Okay, guys, let's get into this and kill them all. Because they may try, but it will not be enough to defeat the Nagash. Uh, let's bring you on over here, as I know this is where one of the reinforcing armies is coming from. So kind of just move on up to right there and unload on them. All of my giants. Let's see, let's kind of rush you on up there. Same with all of you. Nagash, you can kind of pull back, my man. And then let's just send in the Bone Giants and slaughter all of you. There, 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 and over here. And then Nefrodus Handmaid Bodyguard should be almost perfectly lined up here to do a lot of damage. Like, kind of focus on the forces, like, right there in the back line. Hmm, don't like how much damage you're doing to my Nefrodus Handmaid Bodyguard with those archers of yours. I really don't like that. Let's see, so they lost 9% of their forces so far. Keep trying to use what ammo you can. You should be the ones that will recover most of your units since you took the damage first. My Bone Giants haven't taken anything at all. You guys can't, like, do much. Oh, damn it. Yeah, Bone Giants, do your thing. I'm leaving the fight primarily up to you at this point now because the Nephrodus Hamian Bodyguard has done about as much as they can. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the Wood Elves, but damn, you guys do way more damage than I would like for you to do. They have taken out another one of my Giants here. I definitely need to kill you guys before I focus all of my attention onto the Norskins. Because if I don't, like, you guys could just do way more damage and leave me in a position where I can't actually easily take Aaron for that. Like there, we lost 91 troops to kill 3,400. I did lose one of my general's bodyguard, um, but my giants got a ridiculous amount of kills. Like, one of them got 800 kills, practically. Uh, I did heal one entire bone giant unit, which is good. Uh, but this one's still at one. Ugh. Yeah, no, that one's still gonna be at one dude. He's probably gonna be merged into one of my other ones, sadly. But, there we go. And I've been able to kill quite a few more of the Wood Elves, and enough of them die that we should be able to just walk into the city and claim it. Then, next turn, I can try and push on north, kill the- I'll take the last city they have, kill off the Wood Elves, because they need to die. Then, what we're gonna be doing is, I think with Nagash, we need to get him ready for Arangrad. Because Arangrad still has a lot of stuff. They have a lot of armies around there. I need those reinforcements from down south. For centuries, I have Let's execute all of them. Oh, you fuckers. Nope, me. I didn't ca capture enough of them. Ancient yeah, they still have a couple guys there still. And that's the faction leader. If I just actually... Do any of my assassins uh, want to try and stab him? Maybe. Because it's uh, so many fucking spies. Uh, you... Wait, you're still way over there. Uh, Sartosa. Principality. No, let me go and send all my assassins to try and see if any of them can stab this dude. Because I might be able to do that sooner than having... Like, you're really close. You might have a better chance of possibly killing him than me try and push in here, then take this. Because now, let's start sieging Tavaheim over here. I've only got two spies, sorry, assassins. They can try and make their way over to kill uh, the faction leader of the Wood Elves. They can do that. Uh, Neferrod over here. Ah, look at that. You're in a perfect position for me to slaughter you all and take the city. Or just run away like little bitches. That works too. Uh, let's get some ladders there. And then we should be able to very easily push on in here. They don't have a lot. No, they don't. Okay, so Neferod will be able to very easily take that city. Then I'll have her make her way back up to the Herdstone. Again, any city that I don't actually need to control, I'm not going to care about. Because most of these... Oh, hey, more Neferod's handmade by God. Let's group up here. And let's have you... Just also oh, keep making your way up here. I'm gonna, Again, I want to slowly give her more and more handmade's bodyguard. So keep trying to do that. All of you keep moving up this way. You kind of all stay around here, as I do want to put that into another army at some point. Uh, you kind of group on up. We'll push you somewhere. All of you guys are okay. The reinforcements are almost there. 
I think we're good over here. This area, I hope they'll be fine for right now, as I just don't want to have to actually fight that city there. All those reinforcements are slowly grouping on up around Xandri. Oh my god, there's just so many of them. No, yes, I do need to actually defend this. Okay. Um, this is Waldendorf. I don't care. Yeah, you guys can take this. That's fine. We will lose it, but that is okay. That's not an area I need, and I have plenty of settlements right now. So I'm not going to actively try and fight that there. Seat gore, similar deal. Uh, this, however, though, I can be a cunt. And we can put them, uh, we can get them to just go onto just the walls. Because we can send one of my guys to be a sacrificial pawn to get them off of the ram. And then just focus on just defeating their infantry, and we should be okay. This unit just run on forward. Hopefully you're not killed immediately by the mammoths. And then just get them to drop their ram and we should be okay. Because as long as you guys do that, um, please don't be idiots. Come on, shut the gates. There you go. Walk on forward, get them off the ram. And they dropped it. Perfect. That should be all that we need now. Because these units are getting slaughtered. No, actually, ooh, yeah, kind of. They're doing a bit of damage, more than I'd like, but enough should die that we should get them. And this will work for now, but I do kind of wish we had at least a mage unit over here so we could kill, kill those uh, mammoths, but sadly not. Uh, at least we are able to hold for now. We can maybe try and get something around here, as I would like to not just give them more land around here, because the more land I let them have around here, the more likely a Silver Pinnacle is going to be threatened, and those are regions I need to control. Because I could send Neferata back over here if she really needs to, but I prefer to have her uh, and Ark and everybody keep pushing towards the cities I need Nothing right now. Can hide from because once we get back to the turn end... Oh, hello! Speaking of which, I was just about to say, we're just about to take Altdorf. Oh, I love that you guys are idiots. Thank you for this. Uh, you, oh, I, yep, okay, I know, I do still have some Neferata's handmaid bodyguard. So, speaking of which, hey, now we can take Altdorf. I can now mark that off my list of cities we still need to take. Because basically, uh, if the rebels don't attack us outside of the city next to Marienburg, I can take that rebel settlement and then make my way over to Caron. And then it's just Kis it's just the Kislev regions. Kislev and Grand Prague, yeah, which we are having uh, Neferata already start making her way over there. So, oh wait, is this actually a unique city? Or no, it's just the topography. Okay. You immediately murder those war mass. Immediately drop them and then this should be pretty easy. So just open up on them, kill the mammoths, kill the mammoths, kill the fucking mammoths, come on, kill the fucking mammoths, there we go, mammoths are dead, okay, let's focus on everybody else now, well actually you focus on the champions, the giants go focus on that other unit they've got there, because the champions, they can be easily just shot at, let's see, there's only what, 100 of them, whalers, yeah, because you have the gates already, is that you? What is this unit doing? Oh, you're fighting my chariots. Yes, good to go fight my chariots. They're not going to do much for you. Zombies, go help them out for that. Now that the mammoths are dead, we pretty much got this. There we go. All Dorf is now under our control. Um, was this th that army behind me? The one they had CG no? It kind of looked like it was. I'm going to hope it, that's the case. Because I really just don't want to try and defend Nome. But I should be able to be able to uh, push out of this area next turn. Hopefully that other army stays on the bridge. Because then I can very easily just get a, quite a few kills with my Nephrod's hand and bodyguard. So execute all of those guys. Exterminate Populous. Header Gig, I don't care about. Also, Tabelheim is being sieged. I hate that I only have one slot for that. So we'll just have to keep sieging that for now. Cease fire. Hmm. You know what? Like, sure. Uh, I'll accept a ceasefire as long as you guys stick to it. Because I have no desire to fight you. Ah, oh, they're going to attack us again at Portalo. Uh, let's just see what the auto fuck fucking does here. I don't really care too much. I can always just recruit more if we really need to. Uh, and we won. Thank you. And we just murdered the pain trantress. Awesome. Okay, because there's a little bit more land around here for us in Bretonia. Got a man of the hour for that, actually, too. Because, again, like, we have 92 regions. I only need 80, and so for the most part, like, a lot of these areas we don't have to worry that much about. Um, let's see, let's have you kind of go group over here. 
not bad. You step. go help out here, because I should be able to assault this immediately with all of you guys. Yeah, you can very easily do that. Take that hood stone. Exterminate that populace, merge together, and then just leave these guys that are upkeep. And let's have you guys. Um, it's only the one slot for Talheim. Um, let's move you over here, I guess. Because I'll have basically you watch over that city for us. Get some more zombies to resurrect. And then now that we're not going to fight you, um, I have to slowly walk out of here. Um... Damn it. Like, go here. Or, hmm. Did they get another family members back? I could just murder you. But then again, this family member might just become their heir. So, Nagash will slowly walk out of here. Very slowly. Um, but now, let me go around and destroy the buildings in those cities we just captured. Okay, so now that's all done over there. I do need to make sure to remember to actually build the stuff in Bordelow. Uh, boom, boom. Yep, do that. Okay, because now, at this point here, so this army right here is not the one I was thinking it is. They actually have more units over. <gasps> Ooh, Archaeon's over here. Ooh. Okay. You, um, stay right there. I... Is what we're going to need to do is I think, basically, I'm going to start the next video with us attacking you with Arkham. Because we now have Altdorf. We have Talbheim besieged. Karon, they ignored us over here. And so with that being the case, I think we can actually... Oh, shit. I forgot to build anything there. That's fine. Um, we'll take uh, Alms Hoven soon. Uh, actually, I should just go over towards the yeah, siege. Let's siege. Go to Karon. That's the city we actually need. It'd be nice to have this one, just to have more rebel cities. Uh, but I can just keep recruiting more men around here to eventually take that one as well. But those two cities are uh, accounted for. Basically, it feels like Arkin here is going to be the one focusing on defense. I'm hoping... Okay, they've actually reduced their presence around Erengrad. They've spread their forces out more now. Okay. So with that being the case, next video is definitely going to be the last one. I for sure think we can finish it. Um, we'll start off here. I shall Kill you. My Neferata will keep making your way to Kislev. She'll try and take Kislev and Prague. What I can do with Nagash is he'll keep making his way over this way. And he's going to make his way over to Aaron Grant. I'm kind of sad they moved all those forces, but at least I'll be able to get some pretty good battles around here with me uh, first, like, killing you guys, coming over here, killing fucking Archeon. That'll be great. Oh, oh. I wonder. Could that be their only other family member? It's possible. Hi, Yara Mortkin. If that was the only other family member and they've had nobody else join their family tree for Norskins? Oh my god, that would be amazing. I could kill them all with this. Like, I'm not going to check it right now because that'd be way too many armies to check. But, it's technically possible? Oh, we'll have to see that. But I think for now... This is a pretty good place to end this video. We are definitely finishing next in the next video. Episode 50 will be the last one. And we have conquered practically all of the old world. Leaving just the wood elves to be like, oh god, everything's dead. Everything's dead. But I'm going to end this for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts you have on it in general. And so I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed this. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.